Raw is live tonight, and our general manager has put together one heck of a card for this show. Hey, everybody, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and... And me, Byron Saxton, are here tonight live. What happened? We couldn't get Booker tonight. We couldn't get Otunga. We couldn't get Coach. Uh, I, I get it, guys. I get it. We love you, Byron. We've waited long enough. Let's get this thing started. If you would think about moving, you'd better apologize. Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. just went through the roof in this arena. One half a team extreme. The charismatic enigma about to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. And their opponents, first, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Jeff Hardy. A true daredevil in every sense of the word. Jeff Hardy is immune to fear. Synonymous with tag team title reigns, a former United States Champion, former World Heavyweight Champion. And what's amazing to think about, guys, is that the career of Jeff Hardy started at just the young age of 16 when he made his WWE. No, not this guy. And his partner from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 236 oh, talk nonsense. pounds. Matt it's not nonsense Hardy. when you're woken, Michael Cole. I'm awake. I had 
some little baby who calls himself King Maxwell challenging me to a match. Maxwell, do you know how ridiculous you sound, Michael Cole? And his wife, Reba McIntyre, and the senior bald guy there, and the Wolfgang guy and the crew, too. You should be careful. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. These superstars oh, are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. With AJ Styles in the oh. ring, you know this match is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, the only thing I could possibly dislike about the match is that you're calling it with me. Get in there, ref. Jeff Hardy hurt him a little here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. Wow. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. Oh, wow. Kick. Harsh impact. Boom. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, and look at the baseball slide. Whoa, into the Hurricane Rana. Nicely done. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but he's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. It was a magical moment at the 33rd WrestleMania when the ladder match with the Raw Tag Team titles turned into a fatal four-way. The WWE Universe erupted when suddenly the Hardy Boys music hit. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Really targeting the back on that one. I'm recalling what you gentlemen mentioned about how Jeff and Matt Hardy shocked the world, myself included, when they returned to WWE at WrestleMania to compete in the type of match they helped revolutionize. My ears have never heard a reaction like that. Walking away with the Raw Tag Team Championship was further proof that even after an eight-year hiatus from WWE, the Hardys haven't missed a step. Handle finds its target in order to be a premier. Styles, Styles rolls through. Oh, it's locked in. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh man, can Matt Hardy recover from this? He's in a precarious position for sure. Whoa, Matt Hardy dodged that one. Elusive. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Oh boy, he is rolling. to capitalize on it now. AJ Styles moved out of the way there. Uh oh, AJ 
AJ Styles may have it. DDT! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Matt Hardy's done playing. Back in from the floor. He could do it here. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. And the steam. Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. Oh, boy, he is rolling. That's how you wear down your opponent. Yeah. Matt Hardy being tested here. This is not where he wants to be. AJ Styles is getting ready. There's no way he's giving up now. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. AJ Styles proved himself with some big main event wins before joining WWE. He's taken on the likes of Daniel Bryan, Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, and Sting. Accomplishments before WWE aren't as impressive, especially when Daniel Bryan is involved, but I have to admit, that's a Hall of Fame list of opponents. Saxon, those AJ Styles matches I brought up before may not be WrestleMania caliber, but they did include the UK and Japan's biggest shows. Yeah, guys, it's impossible to prepare yourself for big events like WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, or SummerSlam, but AJ Styles has done as much homework as possible ahead of time. Cutting it close here, guys. What a coward. He's trying to get himself counted out, Cole. Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. Guys, AJ Styles has such a wide array of maneuvers. How can his opponent neutralize his offense? When you're going up against someone that has such variety in their playbook, the best strategy might be to attack their core. On that strategy to take you down, AJ, why would you think focusing on his core would gain you the advantage? Well, you'll be killing two birds with one stone. Attacking the ribs compresses the lungs, decreases speed and stamina. Then, punishing his back would make it nearly impossible to, for him to get you in place for a style clash or get up for that phenomenal four. Beautiful technique. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. Here he goes. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Smart move. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag. What an incredible tag team contest. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening belt. Can't complain about the effort, technical Here proficiency, winners, or result. The phenomenal AJ Styles and Ken Harnage, the militia. And they pick up the win, thanks in large part to AJ Styles.
It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw.